JJ the Jet Plane is an American live action CGI animated children's television show that aired on the Learning Channel and PBS Kids from 1998 to 2005. Even though it hasn't been on the air in over a decade, there's still a lot of wild theories and things fans didn't know about it. So if you're a true fan of JJ the Jet Plane, you're going to want to stay tuned and follow through on this iceberg. Alternate Christian Versions Certain Tommy Nelson VHS tapes from the Christian organization focus on the family, and DVDs have taken regular JJ the Jet Plane episodes and changed the dialogue to make constant mentions to God in the scripture. You can find a full comprehensive list of each Christian edit on the JJ the Jet Plane wiki, which is on the screen in front of you right now. Original Model Series before the CGI series aired on TLC and PBS in 1998, J.J. the Jet Plane first appeared as a series of direct-to-video videotapes that could only be bought by ordering them from a commercial. Within the fan community, these are known as the Pilot Episodes, which is an appropriate title for a series involving airplanes. Terrytown Name Origin Terrytown was named after Terry Davis, a computer programmer known for creating an operating system with the goal to spread the word of God. Although it's not proven, there's some strong evidence that Terry Davis helped produce a show, such as the overtly strong Christian themes and the fact that Terrytown is named after himself. Twenty Twenty Three CGI Reboot in 2023, a leaked artwork and footage of a CGI reboot were leaked online. Not gonna lie, I've seen much better. Adult actress uses Brenda Blue's name. Brenda Blue is best known for being the lady mechanic at the Terrytown Airport. However, that's not the only thing she's known for. An adult film actress known only as Brenda Blue is known to have acted in several adult films over the years such as Beef Stank 18 and Triple X Clam Fuckers. Mandela Effect Several people over the past 10 years have went online to voice their confusion about several JJ the Jet Plane episodes they claim to have seen in their childhood. The most common one is that JJ, despite being a jet plane, is actually a semi-truck. Cancelled plane crash episode. According to the show's trivia page on the TV tropes, an episode about a plane crash was cancelled shortly after the 9-11 attacks. No other information about the cancelled episode is known. Original Model Whereabouts A common question within the fandom involves the original model series. Where are the models they use to film it with nowadays? Nobody knows, but rumor has it that they're located at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. But nobody wants to go to Washington, D.C. in the first place to actually verify. Original Actress Died in Plane Crash The original actress who voiced J.J. the Jet Plane, among other characters such as Herky and Savannah, died tragically in a plane crash. No other information is known. Wright Brothers Cameo Appearance The Wright Brothers were known as pioneers in aviation, often credited with inventing the first airplane in 1903. Their legacy still continues well into the present, with them even making a surprise appearance in a few episodes of J.J. the Jet Plane, usually somewhere in the background for a split second, like in the episode Hide and Seek, for example. The story of one of them. You mean you don't know how to play hide and seek? Nope, I never learned how, JJ. Unbelievable. Rev and Evan. Revan 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 Revan
JJ the jet plane deviates from the norm by not having the plane characters voiced by actual planes. Grand Theft Auto Audio and Polish VHS release. In a home video release redubbed in Polish, the first 20,000 pressings of the tape accidentally included audio from the 2002 video game Grand Theft Auto Vice City, as this video demonstrates. My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! My damn feet are wet! We're taking on water! Frame has not yet been rendered. In the 2001 episode Herky's Hat Chase, a brief glitch appears for a split second where a card titled, This Frame Has Not Yet Been Rendered, briefly appears on screen. Interestingly, this only showed up in the TLC airings, never in PBS airings or other home media releases. I'm gonna go set my hat down in a nice, safe place. Unsourced Insider Information on Wikipedia In the Wikipedia article for the show, there exists a section that goes in depth about how this series was produced. However, because the source for the information doesn't have a citation, and no information about how this series was made exists online, it can be inferred that whoever added the information was directly involved in the show's production. Herky collaboration with John Landis Throughout the 1970s and into the early 1980s, Herky the Helicopter was a good friend of Hollywood director John Landis. As such, he was able to land a role in the 1983 movie, The Twilight Zone, for a scene involving a helicopter chasing a man carrying children. However, due to a pyrotechnic error, Herky flew off course and crashed atop of the actor and the children, killing them instantly. Despite charges being filed against the two, the charges were dropped and the two continued to find luck in further Hollywood productions, with Landis going on to produce shows such as Weird Science and Herky eventually starring in J.J. the Jet Plane. Suicide Cult in Terrytown Before the events of J.J. the Jet Plane, a religious cult was prominent in the town of Terrytown and on November 18, 1978, 909 people committed suicide in mass with cyanide-laced Kool-Aid. This event has been buried in the press and the town's history due to its setting as a children's show. The only people who knew anything about the aforementioned suicides were either those who escaped the cult or those who survived the suicide attempt. Snuffy Name Origins Snuffy's name is relative to the term snuff, which means to murder someone in film and put it on a VHS tape. The most famous example of which is the 1979 release, Feces of Death. Human Flesh Inside Airplanes If you rip the skin off the side of the airplane, you will find human flesh, I swear to God. Savannah says the n-word. In the home video release of the season 2 episode, Snuffy's Favorite Color, a scene that was actually deleted for syndication shows Savannah screaming the n-word at the top of her lung, as the following video demonstrates. I mean, I'd rather if she was going to f some I'd rather have her marry an 8 foot tall worth a hundred million dollars, like a basketball player. 